Hi guys, welcome to Simply Scuba. So if you're looking to buy your first or even your second dive computer, it can be a bit of a minefield because there are so many different dive computers out there. And that's because there are so many different types of scuba diver out there. So how do you know which one is for you? So this is a quick little guide just to help you kind of understand what the different types of dive computer are and what pros and cons they have for you. Okay, so to start off with, we're just gonna start off with the snorkelers, the apnea, the free divers. So you do get dedicated free diving watches. So these typically are watch sized uh, dive computers, so they're a bit more streamlined, um, but all these do is free diving. So, um, so there's no complicated scuba diving algorithms in them or, um, or sort of different menus and all that kind of structure. It literally tells you how deep you went uh, and how long you were down for. A few of them, like this one, it has a few other sort of alarms, um, which sort of works out how safe you can be in the water, um, sort of how long you can go down, the, uh, the interval between your dives, which is best. Um, so they are dedicated uh, free dive computers. If you try to take them scuba diving, then they just, they won't work because it, it doesn't have the algorithms built into them. But if you're just looking for a free diving computer, then these can be a lot cheaper to buy and, uh, and you don't have any of that complicated scuba diving uh, so that algorithms put into them. Okay, on from that, moving on to scuba diving. So what most people start off with are these kind of large screen, uh, what I call a puck sized dive computer, shaped like a hockey puck, uh, about the same size, but they have a nice big screen. Uh, they're usually pretty easy to use, um, but they tend to have segmented display. So um, not the easiest to convey really complicated information, uh, but for the real basics, um, they're pretty simple. They tell you how deep you are, how long you can stay down there and how long you've been under the water. They tell you everything that you need um, and with a decent sized screen. What they also tend to have is a long strap on them. So a lot of people see this and, uh, and get confused. Why do they have such a long strap? That's so that it can go over your wetsuit and even your dry suit. So, um, so don't cut off any excess uh, because you might end up diving in a dry suit and then you need that extra long strap. Um, these typically are user changeable batteries as well. Uh, so on the underside, you will have a, a pretty simple um, sort of battery case uh, that you can change it yourself. Uh, so you can always bring a spare battery along with you. Uh, a lot of the watch size dive computers you have to bring into a dive center and they have to change it for you. Uh, so puck size dive computers, they're great for sort of entry level scuba all the way up to um, sort of really quite advanced scuba diving nowadays. Um, they have nitrox and, uh, and all sorts built into them. They have a very safe and conservative um, algorithm so they're gonna keep you nice and safe in the water. They, of course, they have a, uh, either a backlight or a glow-in-the-dark screen uh, and they have the, uh, the audio alarms to, uh, to tell you if you're doing something wrong. Okay, a step up from that would be a watch size dive computer. So these are more for uh, sort of divers that a, have very good uh, sort of eyesight. Uh, if you don't need a big screen, um, then you can get away with a smaller size. These are, um, these are great because you can just wear them all the day. You can wear them to the office, you can wear them to the park, to the gym, and on the dive sites. Um, they don't really stand out. A lot of them have uh, sort of multi-sport functions built into them. Uh, like this one, for example, you can take this swimming and it, uh, it maps your, uh, your lengths when you're in the pool but they're nice and, uh, and compact. Uh, they look like a conventional wristwatch, but of course they have the pressure sensor and everything built in. Same features as the, uh, the puck size dive computer. Um, you can change all the nitrox and all of that, uh, but in a small compressed little state. Okay, another one from that is the, uh, the console mounted uh, dive computer. So these attach to your regulators. Uh, this replaces your submersible pressure gauge. Uh, this will sort of screw into your regulator, one of the high pressure ports, and then your dive computer is fitted to, uh, to your regulator. So this has a few benefits. The first one is obvious, is that it takes your, uh, your cylinder pressure and it puts it there on the screen. Uh, so it acts as your pressure gauge. It reduces the amount of clutter. You don't have a big clunky dive computer on your wrist. You don't have a second uh, sort of SPG. You just have your dive computer and it tells you sort of how deep you are, how long you can stay down there and how much air you have left. A lot of them are quite clever as well. They work out your breathing rate based on how deep you are and how, um, 
how fast you've been breathing and how much gas you have left in the cylinder and it tells you exactly how long your air is going to last in minutes instead of just oh you've got 104 bar it will tell you that it will last 54 minutes for example so um so very handy um, not the biggest in, uh, in, uh, in the UK, but very popular over in the States and a few other um, countries. Just for its simplicity, you only have one gauge that you have to look at and all the information is on that one screen. Um, so definitely a contender to look at. Okay, if you're then moving on to technical diving or if you're thinking of moving on to technical diving, then um, you get a technical dive computer. So these are more flexible on the inside. They allow you to customize uh, all of your settings on the inside, whether it's your gradient factor for your, uh, for your decompression theory or, uh, or your gas mix. These will then start including trimix as well. So if you're diving with helium, ready for advanced divers, but you can start off with one of these and just dive on air and then eventually progress onto um, sort of technical diving in the future. So this is a large screen dive computer. As you can see, it's got a color screen. So that way it can start to color code the information. So if something goes wrong, or if you need to um, sort of ascend or whatever, uh, then the colored information will then change. It will start to go to amber and then red to really let you know that there's something wrong. If everything's blue and white, then everything's fine. Um, Use a changeable battery on this one as well because it's a larger size dive computer. Um, but yeah, if you're thinking of moving on to technical diving, then uh, you really do have to get a dedicated dive computer. A few optional extras that you get with uh, with some dive computers, um, but not all. With, uh, with watch size dive computers, you often get an extension strap. So this then extends that strap because the, uh, the watch itself, when it goes on your wrist, of course, you don't want that big long strap that you do on the puck size dive computers. You then get an extension strap so that it can go over your dry suit as well. So that's a handy little extension. You typically get that with your, uh, your watch size dive computer, but not always. Uh, so keep an eye out for it. Um, integration into your desktop PC. So older dive computers, they, um, they had their logbook, so they recorded your dives. Then you'd have to go through your dive computer and then write it down in your logbook. Most modern day dive computers allow you to either plug in your, uh, your dive computer with a USB um, to your desktop and literally download the dives onto some software. Some of them have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi built into them, so you can download it to your tablet or smartphone. Um, Modern dive computers are wireless, but some still come with, uh, with a USB cable. Some have that ability, but they don't come with the cable. You have to buy that separately. Uh, wireless air integration uh, is a handy little um, accessory. So a lot of dive computers will be wireless enabled. So this will screw into your regulator first stage, and this is a wireless air transmitter. What this does is this just broadcasts your cylinder pressure um, every couple seconds or so to a given dive computer, which you pair at the beginning of the dive. So this, much like the, uh, the um, sort of air integrated dive computer connected by a hose, um, this one isn't connected by a hose, this one's wireless. So it just broadcasts that information, continually do your dive computer, and it works out the same things, how quickly you're breathing and how long your air is gonna last. So that's the handy little gadget. And then the, uh, the last, which is uh, much rarer, this is a heart rate monitor belt. Uh, so some dive computers uh, like the, uh, the Mantis 2, these will take your heart rate and your skin temperature into account into its um, decompression algorithm. So it's working out exactly how hard you're working and how warm or how cold you are, and it adjusts your decompression algorithm uh, accordingly. That way it's, it's not being overly uh, sort of cautious. It's not being just vague and having this uh, sort of basic decompression algorithm. It's actually tailored to you and your specific dive. So it means that you can stay down longer or it's gonna get you out of the water faster to avoid decompression illness. Okay, so hopefully that helped you guys out, but let us know in the comments which dive computer you use and why. Thanks for watching and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.